So I've been using 110 welders for a number of years in addition to 220 welders. Uh, I like the 110 welders sometimes for convenience because you can just use them in places you can't uh, get the 220 if you don't have a plug or something. Um, so just kind of a little quick work, they're good for that. But they don't have a lot of power and they have a real low duty cycle. This one just has a 10% duty cycle on the high setting. So what I did was I installed a fan in the back of it. I'll show you some pictures. And then, uh, in addition to the fan that I installed to increase the duty cycle, I um, added this uh, bridge rectifier to convert this from AC to kind of a pseudo DC and I've got it wired DCEP or electrode positive. So I'm gonna plug this in, you'll hear the fan come on. So even when the welder is not technically on, the fan will be blowing. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of welding and see if I'm getting better performance than I was in AC mode and um, just if it lasts a little bit longer. Um, with than it did when I when it didn't have the fan the other thing is that without the fan and in AC mode I could not weld with anything but 1 16th inch rods that's what I have there 1 16th inch 7011 so I'm going to see now that I've converted it to DC if I can weld with a 332nd rod uh, I don't have any hope of this ever being able to weld with an eighth inch rod, but it would be nice if I could use it for a 332nd rod. All right, I'll plug it in and uh, do a little bit of welding. This is by no means perfect and you can see where I just run that short bead so I've got porosity at the end but this is the best weld right there that this machine has ever laid down 